So the COVID-19 pandemic is here. You might have heard about it. It's been in the news. As a cancer patient, it's interesting to watch social media. I have mixed thoughts on it, so I thought I'd share them. As a cancer patient, I've gone through immunotherapy. It's basically taking your immune system and throwing it all out of kilter so that your body tries to normalize it. I don't know how long it takes for your body to then rebalance. So I have to consider myself of compromised immune or immunocompromised or whatever the buzzword is they're using. Either way, I get sick easy. I hold on to a cold for months. So one of the things I see a lot on social media is everyone complaining about the travel bans, things like that. Ricky's ride is something I'm following. It's a charity ride in the States. Everyone's getting on his case because he's traveling around on his motorcycle. He was at Daytona Bike Week. He was disappointed they canceled it in the middle of Daytona Bike Week. I understand, but also is I see where both sides are coming from. Daytona Bike Week is a lot of people. All, all outside. Outside is better. You have space, you can have space. There's fresh air, you're not enclosed. Did Daytona Bike Week need to cancel? Eh. Would I have gone to Daytona Bike Week? Probably not. The reality is, in order to reduce the risk, it's do things to reduce transmission. It transmits by people carrying it to other people. So if you reduce the risk, which is the interaction of people, that's what does it. A lot of people do have a problem with essentially having their ability to travel freely restricted. A lot of the bantering on social media is why. Well, one of the other quotes I saw is fairly simple. You may not be able to make things better, but try not to make things worse. By traveling, are you making things worse? So this is where it gets interesting. I understand people want to travel. People have a right to travel. People with strong immune systems won't really be impacted by COVID-19. Does that mean I should travel? I probably won't. Will I be cautious about people who travel a lot? Probably. Will I be ask people if they've been traveling? Yes. Wash your hands. That's all we ask. Wash your hands. What a lot of people I don't think understand is why the idea of preventing the spread and rapid spread, because that's the big one, the speed of spread. They talk about flattening the curve as, a, as another buzzword they use. And a friend of mine in PEI posted a social media one that really put this into spec perspective for a small province. They say 30 to 70% of the people will get infected. And so for easy math, that means 40,000 people will get infected. Of those, 10% would re require hospitalization. That's, and these are the low side of the numbers. So at 40,000 people is 30% is getting infected. If 10% of those require hospitalization, that's 4,000 people needing to be hospitalized. The hospitals can support 500 surged, maybe 1,000 people in intensive care at a time. So with rapid expansion and spreading of the coronavirus, where do they go? If they don't have the equipment, you will have doctors looking at people saying, I'm sorry, I cannot help you. If you can't come out of this on your own, you will die. They will not have enough intensive care facilities to help them. To prevent a dr the drain on a system that is already fragile, the system has been efficiency to the point it can't handle a surge like this. So yes, our healthcare is the, mo the most efficient it can be, working at the best capacity, but can it handle this? Probably not. That's why they talk about reducing the transmission, because the system can't handle it. It may not impact you, but it could impact those around you, fatally. So something to think about there.
But as a bladder cancer patient, the coronavirus doesn't scare me. I'm aware that it's there. I'll take precautions and I'm paying attention. We have a lot of little extra things just to make sure that we don't have to do extra trips to the grocery store. I'm ready to hunker down for a few weeks if I have to, call it isolation, but it's about awareness. We always talk about cancer awareness, awareness for this, awareness for that. Just be aware, make smart decisions. Wash your hands. Thanks for watching. Check out the links that I might put in the description. Subscribe to the channel for more content. And I'm taking appropriate measures. I'm not panic buying. I'm basically topping up, but I'm not panic buying. And okay, I'll stock up my beer fridge so that I don't have to deal with people because I don't like people at the best of times.